and the hopes of millions of Burundians rest on negotiations that are due to begin in Tanzania today. Political leaders are trying to stop the violence that's already left hundreds dead. The Burundian government has sent a delegation to Tanzania for a second round of peace talks, but as Dan Ashby reports, it's still refusing to negotiate with the opposition coalition. Burundi's politicians are arriving in Tanzania in their latest attempt to steer their country away from the brink. In the last year, more than 500 people have been killed and more than a quarter of a million have fled as rebel, rebel groups and the government vie for power. But progress is likely to be slow. Rival groups were kept in separate rooms at the previous talks. And then there is the issue of the opposition coalition, Sinared. The government has repeatedly refused to negotiate with them, accusing them of being violent. But Sinared maintained that the government has violated the Arusha Peace Accord and is responsible for mass atrocities. In short, there is very little common ground between the two sides and there is a lot at stake. Burundi has a history of genocide and the United Nations has warned that the country is at risk of spiralling into civil war if a solution is not found soon. Dan Ashby, CCTV in Tanzania.